Um, as I think about where we are today, and where we've been, and where we're going, I'm guided by a North Star, and that is helping with people with serious illness and the people who care for them live well and end well. For me, palliative care is an important part of that journey. It's an extra layer of support that reduces suffering and improves the quality of life for both the patient and the family. When I think back, back in time, to where we've been, I find it remarkable that just 30 years ago, the field of palliative care did not exist. It was built by private sector philanthropy and committed clinical leadership. The Cambia Health Foundation has been focused on palliative care as our signature investment program since the very beginning. At first, we focused on building the palliative care workforce and providing seed funding to local hospitals so that they could build palliative care programs. Our theory was, if we built it, they would come. But let me take you back to an aha moment for us and our theory of change. It was the 2008 presidential campaign, and Obamacare was at the center of the political debate. One of the provisions of the new proposed legislation would allow doctors to bill Medicare for advanced care planning conversations. Well, overnight, the political rhetoric went into overdrive. There were ominous warnings about government death panels and healthcare rationing, even killing grandma. It was ridiculous, complete and utter, utter nonsense, and yet it taught us something. It taught us that words matter. They matter a lot. And system change alone is not enough. To change care, we realized that we needed to change culture we needed to incite a social movement. Looking back to a similar social movement, think about the way that childbirth changed in this country in the 1970s. It wasn't the medical care system that said we need to change, it was committed people like you and me that said we want a different path. We're doing the same thing here. How? It starts with listening. After the death panel debates, um, the Cambia Health Foundation did a national survey, and we found out that 71% of Americans did not know what palliative care was. And yet, once the term was explained to them, 97% thought it should be a priority for the health care system, and they wanted palliative care to be available to them along with their curative treatment options. It was then we realized that lack of understanding was a serious barrier to quality care. So, even if we built it, they might not come. The path is not always straight when you're trying to change culture, and we learned from our original path, and we pivoted. We now know that social movements operate on two levels changing the way people think about something, and changing what they can do about it. Words and action together. Together is a key word for the Cambia Health Foundation. Over the years, we've built a web of relationships with fellow travelers. Many of you are in the room today. So let me pause here and say thank you. Thank you for your commitment, for your passion, and for your partnership. Together, we have made real change. Three quarters of the hospitals in the US now have palliative care programs. There are 149 fellowship programs for palliative care clinicians. Medicare now covers advanced care planning conversations. And there are 62 Sojourn Scholars who are leading the way to a healthcare system that is more compassionate, holistic, and healing. 
That's a lot of change in 30 years. And all of this gives me great hope, which is good because we have more to do. While we have accomplished a lot, there is more to be done. To help people live well and end well, we still need to do three things. Number one, we need to expand access beyond the hospital and into the community and into the home. Number two, we need to better support family caregivers. We need to recognize them and honor them for the heroic work that they do. And third, we need to get our messaging right, all of us, and speak with one voice. People are still confused about what palliative care is. They equate it with hospice, and as a result, they decline services, and they suffer without that extra layer of support. All of us together need to change the narrative so that everyone who can benefit from palliative care knows what it is and how to access it. Words and action together. None of us can do this alone. But when we team up, amazing things happen. And they have, and they are, and they will. Thank you.